Celebrity deaths can be tragic and shocking for many, especially if you're a huge fan of the individual. What's even more haunting are their last words, with some being more poignant than others because they knew they were going to die. In this video, we will share with you the last words spoken by famous people. I'll be fine, Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger was an Australian actor and heartthrob known for his role in films like A Knight's Tale and 10 Things I Hate About You. On January 22, 2008, Heath tragically died of an accidental overdose of prescription drugs. Heath Ledger's father Kim Ledger revealed that his sister Kate had told Heath not to mix prescription drugs that night. The drugs prescribed to Heath were for anxiety, pain and insomnia, and when mixed together can be fatal. His last words to his sister over the phone were Katie, Katie, I'll be fine. I'll be back in five minutes, all right. Paul Walker. Actor Paul Walker was known for his main role in the Fast and Furious series, which makes his death even more tragic as he died in a car crash. In 2013, 40-year-old Paul Walker was attending a charity event for Reach Out Worldwide, which collected donations for those whose lives have been affected by natural disasters. Towards the end of the afternoon, he and close friend Roger Rodas took a Porsche from the fundraiser for a quick spin. His last words to those at the event were, we will be back in five minutes. Within mere minutes, Walker would be dead and with a body so badly damaged and burned by the crash that it could not be positively identified until medical experts could check dental records. Walker left behind a teenage daughter and a legacy of films that were all about daredevil feats of speed in cars. I'm losing it, Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra was an American singer and actor who was particularly famous in the 1950s. At the very end of his long and storied life, however, Sinatra's last words were few. Lying weak and ailing in a Los Angeles hospital bed, his body failing after a heart attack, one of several the 82-year-old had suffered by the date of his death, May 14, 1998. According to his wife Barbara Marx, who was at his bedside when he died, his last words were, I'm losing it. It's better to burn out than fade away, Kurt Cobain. This poignant message was written by Kurt Cobain in his suicide note. He was found dead in his home on April 8, 1994 in his home in Seattle, Washington. He suffered a fatal wound to the head from a 20-gauge shotgun and left an extremely emotional suicide note. The last line read, I don't have the passion anymore, and so remember, it's better to burn out than to fade away. Money can't buy life. Bob Marley. Jamaican singer and songwriter Bob Marley passed away in Miami on May 11 after battling skin cancer. He was only 36 years old. His famous last words to his son Ziggy were, money can't buy life. Many fans believe Bob Marley is talking about money not being able to save him from cancer. Yeah, John Lennon. Say what you will about John Lennon, and Yoko Ono's relationship breaking up the Beatles, or about Lennon's notorious arrogance and eccentricities. He was an excellent musician, and he was a human being who deserved to live a lot longer than he did. But due to the actions of mentally unstable Mark Chapman, who was determined to kill a famous person, and who resented Lennon's comments about the Beatles being bigger than Jesus, his life was cut short. Chapman shot Lennon in the back multiple times at close range on December 8, 1980. Lennon was 40 years old. His last words were long thought to be the gut-wrenching, I'm shot, I'm shot. But later came out that his last spoken word could also have been a soft yes whispered in response to being asked if he were John Lennon. I'm going away tonight, James Brown. On Christmas morning 2006, James Godfather of Soul Brown died aged 73 years old. His manager, Charles Bobbitt, told the New York Daily News that the last words he heard from the star were, I'm going away tonight. Bobbitt revealed, I didn't believe him, 
but then Brown sighed three times, closed his eyes and peacefully passes away. After his death, there were disagreements about his estimated $100 million estates. Since his death, more than a dozen people claiming to be his children came forward demanding paternity tests, and an estate trustee confirmed that at least three of those tests were positive. Although it was never clear if the newly confirmed children had challenged the will or received any payout from the estate. Just don't leave me alone, John Belushi. Looking back on John Belushi's life and death, which, according to Rolling Stone, occurred on March 5, 1982, it's difficult to imagine the actor and comedian was just 33 years old when he died. That's true partly because of how much Belushi accomplished in such a short life, from never-to-be-forgotten roles in movies like The Blues Brothers and Animal House to his many classic roles on Saturday Night Live, on which he was one of the original seven cast members. It's also true because, candidly, by the time of his death, Belushi looked much older than his 33 years. The actor's body had been damaged by more than 10 years of heavy drug use and a generally unhealthy lifestyle. And during the latter days of his life, he appeared to be a good 10 years older than he actually was. His actual death came as a result of a drug overdose after receiving an injection of a supposedly speedball, a mixture of heroin and cocaine. His friend and drug dealer, Catherine Smith, is the one who injected the narcotics into Belushi. And according to phrases, it was she who heard his last words. Just don't leave me alone. Please don't leave me, Chris Farley. It almost seems as if the lives of John Belushi and Chris Farley followed the same script. Such are the remarkable similarities between their lives and deaths, merely with a few ad-lib moments and a 15-year separation between them. Like Belushi, Farley began his career in comedy at Chicago's illustrious Second City Theater before becoming a cast member of Saturday Night Live for several seasons in the 1990s, which propelled him to national and even international fame. Like Belushi, Farley had starring roles in several films that are unlikely to ever be forgotten, such as the successful comedy Tommy Boy. And like Belushi, Farley took a serious heroin overdose at the age of 33, dying alone and in desperation. His final known statements are practically a similar repetition of Belushi's. Farley's last words spoken to another person were, don't leave me. Tragically, these words were spoken to a reported sex worker who, before she did indeed leave him to die alone in his Chicago apartment, stole his watch and took pictures of the actor and comedian as he lay on the floor near to death. When Farley passed away, it was discovered that he had been using alcohol cocaine, morphine, and marijuana. Compounding the sorrow is the fact that just a few months before his death, Farley had been in a rehab program. You see, this is how you die. Coco Chanel. Coco Chanel needs no introduction. She was the embodiment of fashion, sophistication, and class. She was the fullest designer to launch a perfume with her own name on it. Her Chanel No. Five was named after she had been told by a fortune teller that five was her lucky number. This then made her into a millionaire. Channel dominated Paris in the 1920s and had more than 3,000 people working for her. The inventor of the little black dress famously once said, in order to be irreplaceable one must always be different. In 1971, after returning from a walk with her friend Claude Balin, the 87-year-old fashion icon died laid in her bed at the Hotel Ritz. Her last words were, you see, this is how you die. This is no way to live. Groucho Marx. Legendary actor and comedian Groucho Marx's final comments would be heartbreaking and haunting and whatnot if spoken by most people lying on their deathbeds. But when Marx said, this is no way to live, shortly before dying, he was making one last quip for the ages. So in this case, his last words are actually pretty hilarious, and it's okay to laugh. He was in on the joke. Born Julius Henry Marx in the year 1890, 
Marx was an advanced 86 years old when death came for him in 1977. He had been unwell for two months with respiratory problems that grew worse and turned into the pneumonia that would kill him. Marx seems to have been well aware he was near the end, and his last words were a solid quip, almost as good as a line also attributed as Marx's final words. Die, my dear? Why that's the last thing I'll do. His dying words were in keeping with Marx's brother's tradition. According to Mental Floss, when his brother Leonel Chico Marx had died a decade and a half before, in 1961, his last words, spoken to his wife, were apparently, remember, honey, don't forget what I told you. Put in my coffin a deck of cards, a mashy niblick, and a pretty blonde. I'm gonna go see Jesus, want to see Jesus, Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston was one of the most talented singers in the world, and all of her seven studio albums had achieved diamond, multi-platinum, platinum, or gold certification. Houston always had a good girl image, but by the late 1990s that all changed. She struggled with weight loss, crack addiction, and an abusive relationship with her husband Bobby Brown. Then in 2012, Houston was found dead in a bathtub at a Beverly Hills hotel. A Los Angeles coroner revealed weeks later that accidental drowning brought on by heart disease and long-time cocaine abuse was the case of death. Hauntingly, in the last days before her death, Houston had told those close to her, I'm gonna go see Jesus, want to see Jesus.